you remember when um, Elon first bought Twitter and there was this, and he posted it, I think, too. A bunch of people posted it. There was uh, someone that did a comparison of uh, this one phrase that was said by so many people about, is it really right for one person to have this much power? And mm -hmm. it was just like all oh, these accounts saying it in the exact same order, exact same words. And it's fascinating because like people are putting that narrative out there. So who's doing that? Is that a troll farm? Is it a bot? It doesn't matter because it's clearly there's something going on, right? And I would do that if I didn't want him to do it. If I was like some competitor or if I was some organization that – you know, was enjoying the benefits of it being censored mm -hmm. and having some sort of an interaction with the the company to be like, hey, this story, we should fucking kill it. And then you knew you could just get it killed. Well, and also, but there's other forces like writing a negative thing about Elon, a tweet or a uh, an article is more likely to produce likes. Oh, That's for sure. the current state of things, especially ever since, and I criticize him for this, becoming political. Yeah, he didn't need to be political. He's an well. It's not just political. It's like we talked about the um, the Paul Pelosi tweet, right? It's like uh, when you're that guy, God, you'd be extra, 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 extra careful. But he wouldn't be that guy if he was careful, right? Right. That's the trade off. Which is the trade off? Say fuck it. <laughs> well, when he made that picture of the the pregnant man emoji right next to Bill Gates and said, "If you want to lose a boner real quick, like." <laughs> That's the same guy that wants to put people on the moon. Yeah. I mean, it's so crazy. He wants yeah. to be a multiplanetary civilization and dunk on people. The fact that it's the same person, it's like there's not another dude like him out there. No. And I mean, he's not a he's not a, tro a troll. He's a part-time troll. <laughs> he's an incredible leader of teams. Yeah. Like he can hire better than anybody I've ever seen. So build up a team. Get rid of the the people on the team that are not contributing effectively. Yeah, that's that's really rare, especially for large companies. And well, when he them... moved into Twitter and did that, it was funny, like at the outrage. But yet there was so much inf so much information out there, so much evidence that it, like there was a lot of waste there. Like Twitter was actually going bankrupt. It was going <laughs> towards the negative before Elon before took Elon over. Bought it. Yeah, yeah. So they were fucked. They were well, not I think in trouble. In trouble. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't know exactly. Did he know that when he bought it? Uh, I think, I think so. Maybe not the full extent of it. What a wild move! Yeah, what it's, a wild move. Step in and buy a social media corporation, yeah. the number one distributor of information. Yeah, I mean, if not the number one, was maybe Facebook's number one. And uh, fundamentally, a software engineering company. So he's rolling in there, like not knowing anything about the teams, not anything. It's probably just like waking up one day and just saying, you know what, like. It was probably had to do, I haven't talked to him actually about this, like what was the, like, why was he in a mood that he said, I'm going to buy Twitter? But it probably had to do with like uh, certain features not working well. I was like, why are they not innovating? Because he really likes Twitter. He's like, this is a pretty cool website. Like, why are they not innovating on making this thing better? I think there was also this issue of uh, censorship. I think that's a big issue with him. Yeah. I don't I don't think that's a uh, cursory. I think he I mean one of his statements was that if they can't pull it off like democracy might be doomed. I I wonder. Yeah. I, I wonder. I, I mean, where does it go if uh, there is uh, complete control of a narrative and then it 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 becomes untangleable, right? Like if um there's complete control of uh, a narrative and information and it's actually controlled by the central power. It's controlled by the government. It's controlled by whoever's in office, by the intelligence agencies, which never leave office. If, th if that becomes how all of our information gets out to us, that is, uh, it's a very, you would hope that they would do a great job in being fair and balanced and telling us the truth about everything and just keeping us from bad information. <sighs> but if you go over the history of not just this country, but of every country, there's been times where they've done things that are contrary to the interest of the public. And they've done it, uh, you know, measurably. You could see it. You could you get freedom of information files on all kinds of things that the government's done that people are very, very unhappy with. If they can control a narrative, and that's fucking dangerous. And him being in control of Twitter, as much as the cucks freak out, at the end of the day, like, at least you have uh, one, one pathway for information where you get to see things debated and disputed. 
you know, and that's just not the case in the other ones. There's a problem. I mean, uh, power corrupts, and absolute power corrupts, absolutely. Sure. Elon can be corrupted. Sure. And sure. so he is, uh, he's been attacked by the left aggressively, which is part of the reason he's now leaning right. If I were to guess, I'm not, I'm not a therapist, but now he's, <laughs> he, he's leaning right, I believe, more than like he's comfortable with because of the intense attacks from the left. Mm. So it's like a vicious cycle. But like, that you can you can convert the bias that Twitter previously had into the other direction. Yeah. Neither the left or the right are uh, they're both susceptible to the corrupting nature of power. Mm -hmm. And so, I think the bigger thing is the bigger issues. What I think Jack Dorsey has talked about is putting the power of censorship into the hands of the company is the problem. So right. you have to somehow remove it. You have to distribute. You have to outsource, remove the sense, like leave it up to the people to censor themselves, meaning to like control what kind of people I want in my life right. on social media, who am I interacting with? Don't have a centralized committee and meeting that censors because that's right. go you're going to get, you're always run into trouble there. And you see that now with, with even Twitter. There's not, there's questionable decisions uh, being made now uh, in the other direction also, but in general. Like there's, it seems like there's cherry picking of who gets banned and not. Right. That's always going to be the case if it's centralized. Yeah, it's going to be probably be better with Elon because he's not, uh, he, he's more allergic to bullshit than others. But any centralized power is going to get corrupted. Mm. Yeah, interesting.